In 1990s, government started revising its policies. Many new industrial policies were announced. Private companies were allowed to enter the Indian industrial scene. Government relaxed its laws related to export and import, provision of the license. New entrepreneurs were promoted and things were made easy for them. Government also opened up banks that provide easy finances to the industrialists. Well, all the renewed and reformed industrial policies of government had the desired effect. The number of industrial units increased, the economy of the country boomed and employment opportunities also increased. Today, we have about 2 lakh large factories, organized manufacturing units, unorganized manufacturing units in India. This led to the increase in the factory based goods as well as consumer goods. No doubt that the increase in the industrial units helped in India becoming a prosperous and modern country, but it also made it a polluted country. Earlier, many of the pollutants and effluents from the factories were released in air and water without any proper treatment. The increasing water, air and land pollution was having an adverse effect on the health of the human beings and animals as well. These days, pollution control boards keep a close check on the industries and make sure that they follow rules and do not discharge untreated waste in the environment. Making progress is good, but we must never try to earn profits at the cost of the environment. Don't you agree with this? So today, we have learned about the Indian industries, the different aspects of Indian industries and the industrialization of India. In the next class, we will learn about another new topic. Till then, bye-bye, see you.